I'm called David Lukungu. I'm 53 years old. I live in this village called Gwil in Boke Parish. Our group, we are banana seed suppliers in this area and we would like to supply the district and uh, we, we want to go also beyond the district. I started banana growing in 2020, yes. Um, but before that, we used to grow the local varieties. One is we call uh, sweet. Uh, they, 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 we call it alwere. And you find the fingers are very tiny. And uh, there's one also called Jamaica. Jamaica is a very, very resistant variety. Even if fire comes and burn, even if you leave it a while, you still have, you can still fetch something, but it's of poor, very poor quality in terms of taste. But people use it for brewing. I started picking interest in banana when my father, sometimes back, brought a sweet Memvo, Sukarindizi variety. He started multiplying, I saw the bunches were so good. When I visited Butaleja, mm. I sometimes also visited Mbarara. And uh, when I also reached Kapchorwa, I saw how people were growing banana. I said, now, what is this? <laughs> it looks like it is really possible to do it. Mm. Then I say, okay, I'm going to turn this also into banana farming as a business. Currently, I have uh, uh, some of the, the varieties that were introduced to us here by uh, Naro. He started training us straight away. And uh, later on, they introduced uh, some new varieties to us to multiply. There are about four or five key things in banana. Yes. Number one is the seed. If you get a good seed, an improved variety, which is high yielding, very tolerant, and it, it catches the attention of the buyers, mm. the customers, in terms of the taste, mm. then you, you'll get the money. Number two is you have to ensure manure is there. You have to do manuring around the mats. When you put manure, mm. now manure is able to retain the water. When it rains, it retains the water for fairly uh, a longer period of time, say two, three weeks, uh, it's always there. And then it also retains the nutrients. The food which the banana needs is also retained. And then also it moderates the temperature. You know, when it is very hot during the drought period, dry spell, and the, the, the soil becomes very hot, then it's able also to cool it. Yes. Then the mulch as well does a uh, uh, retention of the water mm. in the soil and also it is smooth as the weeds. Wow. It suppresses the weeds so that weeds don't grow so much. And then you have to do family planning. Family planning is very, very key <laughs> with the banana. You allow so many of the young suckers to come out. They are going to start uh, competing mm. for the nutrients and water and they will become like weeds. So this is the mother, this is the daughter, and this is the granddaughter. So what we do is, for me, what I've experienced, have the mother grown up to this height before you release another sucker to come up, the daughter. Let it grow and gain strength because the daughter is going to feed from the mother as well. Now, when this one is fruiting then, the daughter is almost coming to it. And when you are removing this, this one is, uh, we are left with about uh, two, in two weeks time, this will be ready. So you remove and then you have this. You also have started to yes, to start flower. flower. Yes, like you see this, the stem is smaller and the bunch is bigger. But you know this one, uh, I'm very sure of getting 25,000 and above when somebody picks at farm gate here. Yes. So I can do two things. I leave it that way, the mother, the daughter and the granddaughter, or I can have only two per mat here. When I sense that problem is there in terms of the drought, I know water is going to be a problem. 
Then I leave only two. Now, the two, what I'll do, I release the mother coming to this, then I leave the daughter. The, the, there should be a bigger difference. Then the mother will be very big. Per mat always in, in my farming as a business. What I do, I target an amount of money which I need per year. For example, like I, I can say uh, with the weather forecast, which the Uganda National Meteorological uh, people have uh, uh, predicted, I know a problem is going to be there. Then I will say, okay, I'll need only two bunches. I release the mother, starts growing, then the daughter, then the, the rest I sell or I expand. If I say I need 40,000 shillings from this mat here, from this particular hole, so I'll make sure I give enough food and uh, water in terms of mulching and manure and all that, and weeding. Then uh, I will, I may sell up to, instead of 20, 20,000, I may sell at 25 or 30,000. I will have met my target with that. Normally, if I'm selling it in the clusters, mm. this one I'm going to get about 50,000. Wow. So sometimes you find mm. there are uh, so many of these like about five of them at the same time which is ripening mm. so what we do is we cut them into into the clusters and then we sell even into fingers uh, if they are big to 500 shillings mm. and the cluster goes like for how much uh each uh, you know people don't buy a whole cluster yeah here in, in some of the nearby local markets here you find three of them or two of them at five, uh, 500 shillings, sometimes four, if they are bigger, for 1,000 shillings. And this one I can earn up to four to 50,000 shillings. This is FIA 17. It is a yellow banana. You keep and then it becomes yellow, then you eat sweet. Yes, it's nice. So uh, this is a variety brought to us by Naro. Yes, and we are so grateful and people really liked it. So far, I should say, uh, I have sold this year about 5,000 suckers. Last year I sold uh, 6,000. But this year, I think I'll, I'll also hit the target of last year. Why are we removing the roots and why are we doing this cleaning? We do not want uh, this to take pests to other fields. We don't want to multiply the pests. And uh, the key, uh, the banana weevils and the inside the roots also you find nematodes. After desaccharying and they are like this, I get warm water. You dip this and then if they are weevils, <laughs> they will come out. Around me here, I have sold up to about uh, 3,000 suckers to, uh, to, to fellow farmers in this community. Yes, uh, there is uh, one farmer uh, uh, called uh, Emma. Emma asked me to go and plant three acres of banana and, and he got the suckers from me, I sold to him. So each acre takes 450 uh, suckers. And if you calculate uh, for the three acres, I think it's 1,350, if I'm not wrong in my mathematics. For the people around here, for the communities around here, I normally sell at uh, 1,300, 1,200 because I, I want also to pay back to the community. On average, it's 1,500. Uh, but normally, if somebody wants uh, so much, then I reduce to 1,300. Yes, basically that. Today, I receive an information from Archbishop, Archbishop Janan Loom um, Vocational Training Institute they need 1,000 suckers. 500, the Matoke varieties. 400, the yellow banana, including Fia 17. And then we have 100 of the sweet varieties, the Memvu. This is the Sukarendizi, the, the sweet banana. Uh, this one has got one, two, three, four, five. These are five uh, clusters. Now, if you take to the supermarket, like the Cinnabel in, in, in Bulu City, this one, each cluster is 6,000 shillings times five, that's 30,000. But if somebody comes here, I sell at 20,000. So the difference is, is profit and uh, the transport costs and all that. We are going to expand banana here. 
and uh, currently I have 2.916 acres of banana. The key varieties that we got from Naro, FIA 17 is a yellow banana, then the M27 and M30, these are the cuckoo varieties. On average, what have been calculating? Per acre, in the first year, you can get 9 million. Per acre. Then in the second year, you can get up to 18 million. So that is the overall income. What have been advising, there, there are some, about uh, six people whom I advised that were in there within this community. I told them, start with only 10 holes. With the 10. With the 10, you can go and work money from somewhere, then you can buy the suckers. If you come, instead of buying from me at uh, 1,500, I can sell to you at 1,200. Now, if you have 10, you can manage that, that 10. Even if somebody does not help you, even if you don't have money, you are the labor. So you can manage that. Then you can keep expanding, you know, the Saka and then plant. You keep expanding like that. So as an individual, from the banana, I also get my capital for investment. That is number one. Number two, the money I also get has helped me. I have a piggery unit and also a poultry unit. Currently, let me say, I, I don't have a loan. I've not picked a loan from any, 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 any bank or financial institution. Because I'm using this, I'm going a bit slowly so that I don't have a, a debt. But there's a point which I need money for. I need water for irrigation. That is my biggest issue now. This money also helped me so much for paying my children to school. From the banana, and uh, when I look at uh, my records, I've been earning an average of between 500 to 1 million shillings per month. 